What's up, everybody? Um, let me start off with this. The only parts of this episode that I like was Ewan and Elizabeth, Jason and Sam, Olivia and Spinelli. Those are the only ones that I like. The only parts that I like. Um, let me get on with this because I swear after watching the Christina scenes today, I just wanted to like spit in her face. That's how pissed I felt. Um, Christina, I was so happy when Alexis told Christina to stop acting like a spoiled brat. I was think because I always think the same thing when I see this Christina. I think of a spoiled kid. I'm like, this girl who's playing Christina is way too old to be acting that bratty and snotty. She's way too old for that. And when the producer of the show, Bob, I'm like, first of all, if you want to see Mob Princess or something with the Mob, I'm like, bitch, go watch VH1 and go watch Mob Wives. They got two of them. Go watch Mob Wives and go watch Mob, Mob Wives Chicago or whatever. Go watch that if you want to see the Mob. Or go on YouTube and watch old mob videos with John Gotti if you that concerned about the mob. Like, seriously, why would you want to do a dumb reality show called Mob Princess? And first of all, don't Sonny and Alexis have to sign a consent form in order to even do be on camera? They have to sign a consent form, which neither one of them did. So if that producer sitting there threatening to file lawsuits, I'm like, they can file one on you too. You ain't got no legal right. And furthermore, Christina don't got the legal right to tell them that they can film at the house. She doesn't legally own the house. Alexis does. And if she tells them to leave, they have to leave. Any judge in their right mind would agree with Alexis on this. And Alexis and Sonny didn't sign anything. So therefore, show's over. Um, But anyway, yeah, Christina, like, I just feel like they just need to get Lexi back. If you want to spoil brat, nobody plays spoiled better than Lexi Ainsworth. That's all I'm saying. Because this girl is just way too old to be acting that bratty. I mean, like, come on. Like, she's damn near Sam's age. She looked like it. Um. Anyway, let me stop talking about this girl. Because I swear, I just want to jump through the screen and punch her in the face today. Thumbs up if you agree, by the way. Um. Heather Weber. Please go. She is just like, I just wish... Jason, somebody, McBain, somebody, just pull out a 9 millimeter or one of them nice silver guns that Jason and Sonny use. Just pop her in the ass one good time so she could just leave poor Charles. Put her back in Fern Cliff or something. Why don't they let her drink some of that acid or whatever that she drunk over 20 years ago that got her crazy in the first place? Because she is working my last nerve. Like, seriously. The chick is crazy. I'm like, really? You switching DNA tests, you running around the hospital acting crazy. And I swear I'm so sick of these hospitals. I'm like, why don't y'all get tighter security? I'm like, this is Landview all over again. Trust me. If you watched the show last year, at the beginning of last year, with all them test switches and results switches and baby DNA and all that, you would know what I mean. Um, I'm just like so sick of this storyline. Heather Weber needs to go. Now, on to more pitiful things. Um, the dumb blonde, Maxie. I just wanted to smack her, too. I'm like, what is wrong with the young girls on this show? Like, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all that ditzy? I'm like, Maxie, don't nobody care about your storyline no more. I think that if um, the girl who played the other Maxie... Kirsten Storms, I really think if she was up here playing this role, I think I might like it a little bit more because she was different. She had more sass and stuff like that. That's what I like about her. I'm used to her playing the role. But this Maxie, I'm just sick of it. I'm like, get over it. Matt, in my opinion, should have did this sooner. Um, But I'm glad that he stepped up. And apparently he got five years in prison. But that's kind of, excuse me, that's kind of the, the um, same sentence Michael got two years ago when he killed Claudia. Well, te almost. They gave him two years parole, but I don't think Matt got parole. I think Matt got the full five years. So I'm happy for Matt for um, stepping up to the plate and just taking the sentence. As far as Spinelli and Olivia playing detective, my God. I hope, I pray that Olivia brings Heather Weber down. I pray. 
Just get that crazy bitch out of Port Charles, please. We got enough crazy. Um. Anyway, I think Spinelli, they just need to bring a new chick on for Spinelli. Like, I'm tired of Maxi always playing him, and yet he's still nice enough to be there for her, even when she dogs him up. So I feel bad for Spinelli. Like, they need to give him a better storyline, like, because I just get sick of seeing him get played all the time. Now, on to the Jaseem business. Um, Actually, first, before I talk about Jaseem, Ewan and Elizabeth. I almost forgot about Ewan and Elizabeth. Today episode, I mean, it was steamy between the both of them. So finally, Ewan came out the coma. I'm like, how long has he been? A, it felt like he's been in a coma for months. I'm like, finally, he's out. Um, And it's about time his relationship with Elizabeth took a turn. Like when they kissed earlier, it's, it's about time that their relationship begun on a more romantic side. I swear, as soon as I seen them kiss, I just kept thinking in my head, I'm like, uh-oh. Elizabeth Weber Keenan, Mrs. Keenan. That's all I get. Every time I see a couple kids or something like that, I just keep thinking down the road that there might be a wedding between them. I think about that every time I see a new couple. Um, It was just good. I'm glad that they hooking up and stuff like that. Cause I, I always want to see where this relationship between the two of them was going to go. I always wanted to see that. I know a couple people said they wanted to see it, so I'm really looking forward to their relationship. Um, now, Jason, Jason, let me say this, I'm a Jason fan, I've been a Jason fan for many, many years, I've been a Jason fan, I'm more of a Jason fan, like I said, than I am a Sam fan, but today, Sam gave it to me, I agree, pretty, I don't, I don't know how many people gonna agree with me on this, or agree with what Sam did, but Sam was right about everything she said, had Jason not sent those two goons there to beat up McBain, I really believe that all would have been well. She would have her baby with her. There would have been no baby switch, in my opinion. But um, I hate when somebody realize how much they love somebody after, you know, like kind of when it's too late. I hate that. I'm like, that is so, so bad, bro. I'm like, I hate that. Like, he should have realized it the moment she packed her bags. He should have never let her go. I mean, they've been back and forth for the past eight years. He should have never let her go. So, but I doubt that they're going to get a divorce. I just think that they're going to be separated a little while longer. So I doubt it's going to head towards divorce. Of course not. Sam wouldn't just give up on her marriage that fast. Even if it's under these circumstances, I don't believe she would. Um, But I hope they work it out. But Jason was wrong in this case. I think he should have just left McBain alone. Anyway... I just hope it worked out. Today's episode was good. Well, it was boring. The only parts, like I said, that I liked was the Jaseem, the Ewan and Liz, the Olivia, and Spinelli. Those were really the only scenes I liked. Um, pretty much. But um, here's a little sneak peek. Well, my sneak peek of what's going to happen in a little bit of the near future. Like I said before, I don't know how many of you remember I said this on the video that somebody knew was coming to the show. Apparently, he's the son of an old cast member and he may be a friend or a foe to Sonny Grindos. But from what I from what I heard through, through a reliable source, he's a foe. He's a new enemy or whatever like that. Sonny might be having some problems with this guy. Um, furthermore, somebody told me Michael Easton said, John McBain did an interview recently. And he said that this whole thing with the baby switch and stuff like that is coming to a head in July. And that, and I've just read that it's been confirmed that John is going back to Lambie to check on Natalie and Liam. And when he gets there, he's going to notice something different about Taya's baby. So be on the lookout for that. Um... So I just can't wait because a lot of things are about to unfold this summer. Because you know, the summer is always when General Hospital and soaps get juicy. That's during the summer. That's when their best storylines come out. Hopefully their best. So I can't wait for that. Um, the summer for me is always the fun time to watch the soaps because that's when all the good storylines start to come out and some things start to unravel. That's how like summer sweeps for me. Um, cause that's when some things start to unravel. That's when new storylines start to pop up. 
And like I said before, be on the lookout for Cassie DePava, who plays Blair Kramer. She's coming back this summer to visit Star. So be on the lookout for that. I'm out. I'll see everybody tomorrow. And don't forget June 23rd on HLN. Um, Daytime Emmys on HLN Network. June 23rd. Don't forget.